I mean, ever since I was a little kid, that's kind of all I've ever wanted to do. Um, you know, it's it's an expensive hobby. It's not it's not free to do it. And, you know, I've never been a necessarily a rich individual, and you know, I, I've had the same same motorcycle for since I you know bought it in 2009. It's it's o over 10 years old, and I brought it with me through six different states. I've probably ridden that thing and you know, 15 different states across the country, and you know, I, as long as I, as long as I still get to ride, that's all that really matters to me. And just being able to go out and ride my motorcycle, it's, you know, there's, there's nothing that makes me happier in the world. Um, so even if I got to go out and, you know, ride by myself in the middle of the desert when it's 115 degrees outside, it's still more fun to me than anything else. My old man used to do it. And, you know, that was he was a huge influence for what I wanted to do and. When I got the chance, I, I never wanted to stop. Well, I, what can I say about Arizona riding? I mean, it's it's hot. It's about 110 degrees right now, and we're out here riding it up anyway. And... It's dusty, it's hot, but it sure beats sitting home. You know, it's, 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 it's amazing during the winter when you can't ride anywhere else and it's, you know, awesome 70 degrees here. But I mean, even during the summer, it's, you know, you can't, you can't let the heat get you down. You just stay hydrated and, you know, get out there and ride anyway. Uh, what I love most about Arizona riding is, is probably the the, the terrain changes. Um, you'll find terrain here that you won't find anywhere else. It's it's a lot of like sheer cliffs and washes and dirt that varies. You could be at the bottom of one place and find sand and be at the top and find snow. I mean, there was a time uh, during the winter um, this year that I got to go out to the Four Peaks area and uh, I was I was riding down to the bottom where it was warm and sandy at the bottom and, and uh, it was you know up in the hills there was a bunch of snow and. You know, seeing, seeing a cactus covered in snow is something, you know, I, I, don't, I doubt that many people have really ever seen. It's, it's quite the spectacle, but just to be able to ride is, you know, for me is, is huge. And, uh, you know, start, when I started, I grew up riding, you know, gravel roads in Oregon. And when I moved out to the Midwest, I got to, you know, got involved with dirt track. And, you know, I kind of found my love there and have always, you know, kind of did everything to try and get better at that. Yeah, desert riding compared to ice riding is, is a whole nother world. I mean, being blessed with the opportunity to ride both, it's, you know, it's cool to go from riding ice where it's, you know, hooked up all the time and, you know, the, the traction's awesome to being out here and having to learn throttle control and the whole difference between, you know, dirty, dusty, hot, and it's, it's, it's just completely different. I mean, it's cool to get to ride both. Um, I feel, you know, really blessed to be able to have that opportunity to have, you know, be able to go be in both places, be in Minnesota and here.